Dale bonito a la chichita. Acuérdate del pueblo nuevo. The first pre run we did it was during the day. Uh, we wanted to see my section during the daytime as well as nighttime. You can see the course a lot better during the daytime. It kind of helps you get familiar with the territory and where you're going to be going, just so you kind of know your surroundings and stuff, know what you're going to be going through. And uh, it was me and my dad went down there with our pre run trucks as well as Brian Ewalt uh, driving Mark's car. It took us two days to go from Loretto to La Paz. We went from Loretto. Uh, mile 720 where I got in the truck down to uh, mile 850 and we camped there for the night and then on the second day on Saturday we went from mile 850 to La Paz. So after the hurricane came through there, uh, it just made the course totally chewed up and there was water and washouts all over the place. Pretty much in areas where you thought you can be, you know, tapped out of the 100, there would all of a sudden be a four foot water crossing in the middle of the road. So really had to be on your toes and uh, there's probably five or six, like two or three foot water crossings we had to go through. So enough to make us nervous for race day conditions. We got stuck a couple of times. It was really muddy. We found a couple of lines around them just in case. Uh, that's what we do when we go pre earning We make sure that we have lines around certain washouts and certain stuff we think will be hard to get through during race day. It was a pretty clean pre run We had no problems. Uh, everyone made it, not a single flat tire. Yeah. Four wheel drive comes in handy down in Mexico. The second pre run we went on was, uh, was a night pre run all night. A smile about 9.45. It's a highway crossing, okay? We're gonna check on fuel again there. We hung out there all day Friday, kind of got our logistics together, had a, had a pit meeting uh, regarding where our chase trucks were gonna meet us in the course and where, uh, where we're gonna have people come in on chase roads just in case we get stuck on a water hole. We had access roads going out of every water hole to the highways. In case something did happen, if we did get stuck, we would have a way to get one of our chase trucks in there to pull us out. It was a really, really long pre-run. We went from mile 720 to La Paz. We tried to do an all-nighter. We left Loretto at 6 p.m. Uh, right about dark, so we get up to. We had to travel 50 miles north of Loretto to get to uh, to get to where I got in the truck at mile 720, which is 50 miles north of Loretto. Um, we left there probably at 6:30 at night. We had a light go out, uh, a little electrical problem. And we got going around 7 o'clock. I broke a power steering line hose about five miles out of the main town of Loretto, mile 760, where the BSG pit was down there. We were down for about two hours trying to get that fixed. It was a pain in the butt. We knew then it was going to be a really long night, and uh, we just kept pushing forward from there. Uh, we had no problems the rest of the way. We actually didn't make it to the pause until 11 o'clock in the morning the next day. So it took us from 7 at night to 11 in the morning the next day. I don't know how many hours that is, but it was a long time. And it really, it really takes out of you a lot more than you think it would. I like racing in the day a lot better. SKG Automotive Customizers.